Hello, I'm a huge techie who enjoys using technology in solving problems and helping organizations and people avoid risks. By the way, I'm Monsef Shad. Before I start, all information in this talk is from worldnuclear.org. For those of you who don't know, Chernobyl meltdown occurred in Chernobyl, Ukraine in 1986. It happened when a checkup was being performed on nuclear material and the nuclear reactors were on. Eventually, the people performing this checkup were unaware of a power outage that caused them not to be able to turn off the nuclear reactors. The roof was blown and radioactive material spilled into the atmosphere. The Chernobyl meltdown was a disaster, yet it gave me a strange theory. What if something like this can happen again? How can I prevent that? Robots are already being used in industrial sites, but not really in a way that matters. Currently, robots only replace humans in jobs. Humans can perform perfectly fine. But what if we can hit two birds with one stone? Humans are actively getting bored from routine checkups, tasks, and much more. Also, humans don't have the same level of coordination with the rest of an industrial site system, such as power management, temperature control, and much more. Don't worry, robots won't replace humans. Some jobs require people to take risky decisions. Robots will only replace people in jobs where humans can perform perfectly every time. Are you wondering how this robot works? Well, a personal experience taught me how they function. I took part in an online coding startup called Geek Express, in which I learned how to create apps using MIT App Inventor. Using that, I created the basic app. Mobile will be solar powered, so it will have no carbon footprint. It will have a battery that charges using solar energy. Here's a screenshot of the control panel. This will actually work for safety mechanisms such as auto turn off on power loss, also emergency service and notification in case something happens. As for manufacturing, it's a win-win situation. Manufacturers win since they're making shiny new robots that they profit off of. As for companies and consumers, they get a robot that helps them perform daily tasks and checkups with less risks. This can stop so many disasters from happening. And at the end, I'd like to remind you that prevention is so much more important than curing. Thank you very much.